Seco was founded in 2015, uh, really with a, a desire to provide something much better in the in the in the platform sector, and we want to we want to play a really big role in how the sector redefines itself around technology, efficiency, and also um, on cost grounds. We met P1 back in I think 2017 or 2018, and I think they've been a you know, standout firm of an early adopter of new technology. They had a really clear vision what they're trying to build. You know, they're leading the sector really in terms of digital adoption um, and efficiency. P1 really was started with two goals. It was to increase efficiency for advisors and to reduce costs for the end clients. And that was going to be done in two ways. One of which was a DFM service, so a relatively simple model portfolio service that advisors could use on any platforms. And then a platform service where we wanted to have a highly efficient, highly digital, low cost platform. So a key thing about uh, working with Sekel is to make our team's life very easy. So straight through processing is massive in this. If you want to create a client account or you want to instruct a transfer or you want to do anything on the platform, it's straight through process. So you do things in seconds or minutes, not in days or weeks, which is generally pervasive across the industry. So we looked around the market and in truth, there was just nobody else that would be able to allow us to do what we wanted to achieve as a business. And I just generally don't think there's anybody else that we could work with that's allowing us to move as quick as we are doing. We built a range of different functionality and we've been able to do that partly because of Seckle's fantastic API that's well documented that we can effectively pull all the data we need out of Seckle as the custodian and the pension provider. We built a reporting suite for advisors. So this is things like uh, valuation reports, like performance reports. If an advisor is working with us and they want an integration with a third party system, we will jump onto that incredibly quickly. We did an integration in 24 hours. This is pulling data out of the platform to create client records, which this is something that's pretty much unheard of in the industry. To make advisors' lives also um, much more efficient, we built a app for their end customers. So what that means is that an end customer in the Android store, the Apple store, they can download the platform app. Everything that a client wants to see, they can just get it from the app. So it's the start of something that will be a big focus for us, giving that really high quality client experience. There are a couple of different ways that people can approach running a platform on Seckle. One is to come to the direct and it will become a platform operator and run everything of uh, control over the entire proposition. The other alternative is to work with a firm like P1, where you get the opportunity to benefit from their expertise and experience of running one of these things um, and still have um, something that's got very much your look and feel and your brand. And again, typically a much, a much lower cost, much more digital than what you'll find elsewhere in the sector. I do think we're at probably a point where platforms are moving from what they were into what they could be. And it does feel like that's happening literally right now. Our ambitions for the future are pretty much what our ambitions were when we started. Um, of course, there's commercial ambitions in terms of scaling the business. We want to scale up relatively quickly to five billion and then beyond. But the, the core focus is still on digital efficiency, uh, low costs, and really servicing the advisors to allow them to run their businesses more efficiently for their clients.